Greetings, YouTube. Uh, I'm going to put forth a question concerning a role-playing game. Now, the question is going to be about Dungeons and Dragons, though it's going to bridge the entire range of uh, the game from first edition through 3.5, uh, the OGL version. My question is, do you consider the act of animating unintelligent undead as evil? We're talking zombies and skeletons, because I believe those are the only two types of um, completely mindless undead that the game possesses. Because, at least in the 3.5 version, the spell descriptor says that doing this is an evil act, that the spell itself is evil. And this has always confused me. Um, the negative plane itself has no alignment. Um, the energy from the negative plane, negative energy, has no alignment. Um, so I have failed to see how a, the source of the energy has no align, alignment, the energy itself has no alignment, how using the source and the energy from that source to animate a corpse becomes an evil act. I, I, there, there's a break for me, there's a discontinuity between the, the action and the result. Now, some people have said this is a holdover from the days back when TSR was in charge, and you know the concept that there are certain things which are considered evil in and of themselves without explanation. Um, but in the older version of the game, back in like first edition, zombies and skeletons had no alignment. They were not evil in and of themselves. Um, for me, animating a chair or animating a corpse is the same act. There is no alignment involved. Um, the uh, the corpse is just a very convenient shape to animate. It's shaped like a person that can do things that people do more easily than an animated chair, which is much more limited in its flexibility. Um, now there are different spells here, animate object, animate dead. You could probably argue that maybe they shouldn't be an animate dead for uh, at all. Maybe there should be a raised, uh, maybe there should be like a create undead for intelligent um, undead, and that the creation of mindless undead should fall into the category of an animated object. In fact, as a GM, I've actually used animated corpses created by the animated object spell against players, um, and when the cleric attempted to turn them, was very surprised when, of course, the player could not turn them, um, and thought that they were very powerful because they were resisting his power, his, his magic, which made me smile. Um, which should have been a clue. When, when the GM smiles, that's that's never a good sign. So, do you consider animating a corpse to be an act of evil, or is it just something that's really unpleasant? Because let's face it, uh, zombies and skeletons are not attractive things. They are very icky. Um, there are going to be some social issues about them, but I don't see any reason that raising them is evil in it of itself. It's how you use them. If you animate a chair and do nothing but constructive things with it, it's not evil. If you animate a skeleton or a zombie and do nothing but constructive things with it, I don't see how that's evil. I just don't. I'm not. I'm not there's no break for me. One is an object, the other is an object. Who you are is gone once you die. So if somebody wants to use your corpse for body parts or for a zombie or a skeleton or for lunch, I'm indifferent to all of it because you're not there anymore. What happens to your body, to me, is rather immaterial. Um, I realize that people attach a lot of uh, emotional uh, messages to corpses, and they preserve their un they preserve their dead, and they want to venerate them, and I understand that, and I respect that. But there are people who don't, and within the magical world, there are people who are going to use undead. I did a review of a setting where, uh, just recently, a couple months ago, where your corpse becomes property of the state, or the city in this case, and they use it to create skeletons and zombies to serve the people. And a policy which I fully endorse. In a world of magic, why don't you use the corpses? There are tasks that no one else is going to want that would be perfect to be um, taken care of by zombies and, and, and skeletons. In fact, I had a, my last uh, major campaign, we had uh, a 3.5 campaign, the town used the zombies to walk wheels, to regenerate power, to, to pump water. Um, put them underground, have them walk a wheel, they'll walk a wheel forever. It's a power source that never gets tired, that never complains, that never 
it's going to go on strike and it was a uh, a very useful purpose to especially because they, they used it for people that had committed crimes against the city those that had been executed their corpses served the town forever although I find it interesting that one of the characters was very disgusted by the very thought of undead his player said that if he ever found out that the water was being pumped by undead he would never use it again he never did find this out it wasn't spoken of widely that the town leaders knew about it but the populace in general didn't because again corpses are icky um, but I think it was a nice bit of role playing um, so for you is necromancy inherently evil or can you raise skeletons and zombies as neutral objects.